Hi there. I am here to get you some tarot messages for today. I'm going to do a relationship dynamics reading. Um, we'll pull cards for person A, we'll pull cards for person B, and then we'll pull cards for the energy of the relationship itself. Let's jump in and see what messages come through. Cards are shuffled, ready to go. What is going on here? We have a nine of turtles is a nine of pentacle. We have death. We have three of wands. We have high priestess. Five of cups. Emperor. Chariot, Ten of Wands. Right in the center of this reading, we have Strength Energy. All right, I feel like both of these people uh, are trying to overcome something or release something, grieve something from the past. There's definitely the ability to overcome obstacles. I feel like both of these people... Uh, are very much capable of overcoming obstacles. There's something about being being confident, being in con being in control. Uh, there's balance here. There's there's um, there's a myriad of balance here. There's like intuitive. There's intuitive balance. There's financial balance. There's practical balance. There's mental clarity here. A lot going on. Uh, I feel like this relationship has been through a lot. Uh, but there's something... I feel like both of these people are coming to the end of a cycle. And you both definitely have the ability to overcome these challenges. Uh, I feel like whether... Whether these two people are overcoming the same challenge or, or different challenges, whether it's together or separately, there's definitely the ability to really leave the whole, leave the past behind or leave something behind. Something is closing, a cycle is closing, so a new beginning can emerge. Uh, is what I'm getting here. Uh, I'm going to clarify. Where should we start? This nine of pentacle, death, three of wands. Like this person, I feel like this person might be further along the pathway than this person. This person is still kind of in the middle of a grieving process here. Uh, but they're learning great lessons here. This high priestess emperor. Uh, book ending this five of cup energy. There's definitely a turning point for this person. I feel like this person is in the process of realizing some profound uh, soul, like a s profound soul realization is what I'm getting, whatever that means. Uh, and this person I feel like is already, already like they're just a little bit further along the path, if that makes sense. It's just the way that's coming through here. We have the Prince of Wand energy, Knight of Discs, Princess of Wands. Okay, so this person here has dealt with a lot of different people, a lot of different opinions, uh, but they're really, I feel like they've come a long way. They've put an end to, um, you know, trying to be maybe a people pleaser, or they're realizing that... They are in control. They are in charge of their own life, their own future, what's acceptable and what is not. I feel like this person has really learned a lot of lessons uh, regarding relationships and, and what's true for them and what can be released at this time. Uh, let's pull some for the high priestess. Ooh, high priestess on high priestess. That's powerful. Um, hmm. Well, let's just, well, let's pull, let's, we'll go back there. Uh, four of Wands, 
Emperor on Emperor. Wow, this is powerful. This mm, We got to delve deeper into what's going on with this person. Because I don't know what the odds are for those two cards. I'm getting like a divine shiver here. Like there's something like spirit is taking over this person. Or spirit is helping this person to um, put, mm, not necessarily put an end to, but, but really close out that cycle here because I did feel initially that this person was in the midst of this process I feel like this person is being inundated with spiritual energy and they're trying to maybe ground it or make sense of it or uh, integrate uh, that energy because maybe this person isn't really used to uh, that, you know, that strong spiritual energy, but this person is being downloaded, um, inundated, uh, maybe they're having very vivid dreams, maybe lucid dreams, maybe astral travel uh, with this high priestess twice, at twice, emperor twice, uh, four of wands, five of cup energy, uh, and the keyword, I don't often read the keywords on these cards, uh, but it's completion. It's interesting. Four of Wands completion. There's something about they're definitely coming to grips with grieving the past or, or, or allowing this release, like letting it go, whatever it is, whatever, a cl completed cycle, a completed lesson, a karmic uh, experience, uh, something has come to a close for this person. Uh, let's see. All right, let's, we got High Priestess here twice. Let's pull another on the High Priestess. Ooh, Five of Pentacle here. Yeah, this person is going through like this, um, I'm going to say dramatic change. I don't know why I'm using the word dramatic change, traumatic change. I, I feel like this, like spirit is stepped in. It's almost like tower energy. Like spirit stepped in and say, look, 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 listen here, Sonny. Uh, this, there's something that needs to be completed. Let it go uh, is what I'm getting. Let's pull another here. The magician energy, yes, because something new needs to manifest here. And in order for something new to manifest, we must release the old, the old, the past, whatever it, whatever it is. There's something that, a cycle that has been completed. Um, and it's time to embark on the new. And I feel like this person here has realized that they may have been swayed in the past by other people's opinions or what was expected of them or trying to again be a people pleaser uh, but I feel like this person is already already knows where they want to go and they're ready to discuss it with you here like they they're they're they feel whole and balanced this person is whole and balanced this person is in the process of becoming whole and balanced like in a, when I say whole and balanced I mean we're always whole um, there's never anything really missing, but the balance of it. I feel like there's, you know, like spiritual energy, there's physical energy, there's emotional energy, mental energy, uh, financial energy, like all of it at once here. I feel like maybe this person might even need to like rest. This person may be like, can't get out of, can't get out of bed right now. You know, or they may be in like that, um, Sloth mode. I don't know why that I'm getting that word sloth mode. I mean, there's nothing wrong with sloth, but sloth has a reputation of being, um, I don't know. I mean, I don't know what the energy of sloth is, but that's how it came through. Like sloth, like, um, just being slow and being, um, I don't know if I want to use the word lazy. I, I don't know. I don't, I'm not liking the words that are coming through because it's, it's, um, it's a positive thing. They need this rest in order to process this energy, to integrate this spiritual energy. Because when we're inundated with um, spiritual energy, it can knock us off balance. It can it can really um, put us down, you know, and, and we need that downtime in order to process is what I'm getting. So this person is really going through a major process here. Look at this Ace of Pentacles. It's so this new beginning can emerge here. We got, you know, the one on that magician, the Ace of Pentacles here, uh, Ten of 
pentacles here. Yeah, like there is something new and beautiful that is emerging. Um, I feel like from both of these people, uh, this person, I feel like, again, this person is further along the path. They understand. They've integrated that, that higher vibration. Uh, they feel more balanced. They know what they want. Uh, and they're ready to discuss it. I'm ready when you're ready is what I'm getting here. Uh, okay, so Chariot Strength, Ten of Wand, Nine of Cup, Fool, Five of Cups. Okay, so we got Five of Cups here twice. Interesting. Uh, but, you know, this Five of Cups is on the strength. Five of Cups strength Five of Cups, Four of Wands, um, you know, overcoming that that grieving process. You know, Five of Cups can be, well, Five of Cups for me is often a turning point, you know, letting go of the disappointment of whatever, whatever didn't work out or whatever's closing out. There's definitely a closure here um, and maybe, you know, things didn't turn out as planned with whatever is closing out or it's just sad to say goodbye to something that was familiar or there's something definitely a change and overcoming that clearing out, you know, old baggage. Like sometimes we just want to hold on to, um, old baggage for sentimental reasons is what I'm getting here. Like sometimes we hold on to things, um, you know, like we hold on to things, whether it's a piece of clothing, a knickknack or some sort of, um, tan I'm getting just an example of like a tangible item we don't we never wear it we never look at it it doesn't bring us joy anymore but we hold on to it for whatever reason because you know it was gifted to us from someone or there's something about letting go of things that we no longer use or no longer uh let bring us joy or satisfaction or or something we don't never wear anymore you know just a piece of clothing whatever that may be a, a really a tangible item a, a article of clothing a person a place an environment certain friendships that no longer we no longer resonate we've grown out out of uh, because of this uh, spiritual awakening or this rising above like if I feel like this person's energy has shifted um, in such a rapid way that it kind of knocked them off balance and now it's like they're familiar their familiar environment the people places things that once um, brought them joy no longer um, do that for them. So there's, it's time to pursue uh, a new beginning here. We've got this fool energy. I love that the fool is on this 10 of wands because they are definitely talk about balance and polar opposites. You know, 10 of wands is, you know, carrying all that heavy baggage. Whereas the fool is light and free, no baggage, like release the baggage. And I feel like this person is in the process of releasing their past baggage. Um, and if these two people are meant to come together and join forces and have that new beginning together, then this person is doing what's necessary to release that baggage uh, is what I'm getting here. Chariot, Nine of Cup energy. I love that. And the key word here, bliss. You know, we're moving towards um, uh, a new place. It's unfamiliar. It's unfamiliar territory. It's a new beginning. It's a new opportunity. And sometimes, you know, unfamiliar places can be a um, little bit intimidating, maybe. Maybe this, you know, there's it feels a little bit overwhelming or there's a bit still of um not really having all the answers or knowing how to proceed but that's okay just be still and when the moment you know when it's time to make a change or speak up and say something or take an action we'll know and and all throughout this um the ups and downs we have the ability um to overcome any kind of challenge, any kind of um, heaviness, obstacle, challenge. I feel like, you know, there are challenges. As a, challenges are our greatest... Um, challenges are our greatest 
reason for growth, our greatest reason for change. Because when everything's going fine, we don't want to change anything, you know, but when things get heavy and we get weighed down, it's like, that's when it's like, okay, yes, I got to make a change here. I feel like that's what's happening here. You both have the ability to overcome it. Yes. And this Knight of wands is like, you'll take action when it's time to take action. Hang man. But meanwhile, meanwhile, just wait for, um, things to harmonize things to balance i feel like this person is like right now going through a whirlwind of spiritual um energy that they're not used to their body their mind their body their spirit has to integrate that energy they're just not used to it empress on the bottom of this deck look four wands again so we got empress emperor twice here four wands here twice i feel like if this is your reading Things are happening behind the scenes. Union is near here. Uh, you know, it's interesting because this four of wands, the keyword is completion. Like I said, I don't normally read the um, keywords on cards, but, you know, completion. Usually union. Sometimes a keyword for four of wands is union. So, like, we need to complete some of the old cycles so we can have this union. Let's cut this. Uh, look, six of cups, we can have this union and we can return to each other and begin again. Yes, another ace, ace of wands, passionate new beginning. If this is your reading, please do like, subscribe, comment. Uh, much love and peace be with you. Bye now.